Well, hi there, internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Tolkien. Let's do it. Tolkien is a biography drama war film from director Dome Karakowski and Fox Searchlight. The film stars Nicholas Holt, Colm Meany, Lily Collins, Patrick Gibson, Anthony Boyle, Tom Glynn Carney, and Derek Jacoby. Tolkien explores the formative years of the orphaned author as he finds friendship, love, and artistic inspiration among a group of fellow outcasts at school. Let me start by saying, if you're hoping that this movie will be a chronicle of Tolkien, like writing Lord of the Rings, throw that out. It's not that movie. It's good, but it's not that movie. That stuff in the trailer with him on the battlefield and sort of seeing knights and dragons and Dark Lord, that stuff is really cool in the movie, but it's barely there. This movie's really more about a young Tolkien and how his experiences with his friends, his love Edith, his time in World War I, inform the stories he would later tell. And this movie is very well acted. Nicholas Holt is particularly very funny, kind of stuffy, kind of heartsick. He's really, really good. Lily Collins is no less than his equal, and hers was actually my favorite performance in the flick. And their chemistry together is fabulous. And the casting is also really strong. Not only does everybody turn into a really solid performance, but the actors who play the younger versions of Tolkien and his friends look strikingly like the actors who play their older counterparts. That doesn't really mean all that much, per se, but it does make it feel a little bit more solid. Now, this isn't really a spoiler, but there is a scene in the movie. We've all heard that some people consider the phrase cellar door to be the most beautiful sounding phrase in the English language. I've never really understood that. I get the point of it, but whatever. There's a scene in this movie, apparently Tolkien felt the same way, where he's talking to someone and he's saying, cellar door, of course, he has a British accent, so he's saying, cellar door. And then he keeps inflecting it different ways. Cellar door, cellar door, cellar. And very quickly it's like, this is starting to sound like Elvish. Cool. Admittedly, as a fan, I would have loved to have seen this movie push a little bit further into his life to see him really writing Lord of the Rings, but I'm not sure how you would do that. What are you gonna do? Just show Buddy sitting at a typewriter for hours? It's not very cinematic. My biggest issue with this movie is that it did feel rather aimless and meandering at times, kind of like the screenwriters had the major beats but weren't sure how to get from one to the next. The pacing is overall pretty strong, but the ending, fittingly, kind of suffers from Return of the King syndrome, in that you kind of think you're at the end and then it just kind of keeps going. Don't get me wrong, I love Return of the King, but still. Having said that, the final shot of this movie is pitch perfect. I quite enjoyed Tolkien. It's a solid little biopic with flashes of whimsy, very strong performances, and some very touching moments. And while the movie does look beautiful, I don't think you need to rush out and pay to see it at the movie theater. I think if you can wait, it'll look just as good on your TV at home. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Tolkien. And I think I'm gonna give Tolkien a... All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. Out of 10. So now I wanna know, have you seen Tolkien? What did you think about it? What is your favorite biopic of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Hello, let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.